today on hard mode backwards. Oh, W990 and your stupid crane. <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> this is definitely not the truck to be doing this with either. I kind of thought about that when I was doing this. I was like, this is not the truck. Okay, welcome back. And uh, we're right where we left off. I have the Taiga and the fuel trailer. And I kind of took a look at some of the order of things that we need to do over here. And unfortunately, I do need to turn this trailer in first before I can go scout those points. However, I brought another vehicle down to the third point where I think the third point is at least. I found another task I need to do, which is probably also in the same spot. So we're going to kind of like do a little bit of this, get... Uh-oh. This thing likes to get a little stuck, but it's still a taiga. It just goes through it really slow, that's all. I also probably shouldn't have put the highway box on this, to be honest. I think I would have rather just to... I kind of put it on as like a science experiment and I was like, yeah, this is a bad idea. But that's okay. So yeah, we do have to turn in this trailer. So what I'm going to do is go grab that truck and see if it needs fuel to be repaired as well. Um, so basically once we reach the end of our blue dots here, we're going to park the trailer, go grab the truck drag it back to where the trailer is, repair it, refuel it if it needs refuelings, and then go turn in this trailer. And then we're going to leave the truck, go get these two points for the next uh, contract that opens up after turning in this fuel for law enforcement, where we have to, like, hunt down a poacher. And there's two spots that are sort of up here that I would like to get to because the third spot seems sort of isolated and that's why I was like well I'll just do this with this truck and then do the third spot with the third truck and then there's a third task to pick or a third contract to pick up like some oil barrels or something drilling parts or something at the place where the third place is and that's also where there's a trailer that I have to yank out of there so we'll see if we can do it with that. I brought the W990 over there. It's it's uh, pretty muddy. <laughs> it made it, but it was a lot of winching. So we're going to have to like winch and then winch this trailer and then winch and winch this trailer because it's a scout trailer. So hopefully we can make it out of there without too much incident. But that's the goal today is we're going to kind of complete this little section, get this watchtower, and then start work on these this series of contracts for helping the law enforcement pick up all this stuff. Find this poacher. Yeah, the fuel trailer goes up there. No, not yet. Not there. Not there yet. There's like a turn off. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep the fuel trailer with us as long as possible in order to top off because we're gonna have to kind of like go up the hill a little bit and then drag this truck all the way back down to the city with this so we just want to make sure we have a full tank before we start that journey but uh, I got some news I'm getting a new computer. Um, so I it hasn't been as bad. I shouldn't say that. It's going to just start to happen all of a sudden. I'm going to lose my audio again. USB is going to disconnect. But uh, I am getting a new computer. Um, it's definitely upgrades from what I have. Um, it's not like super, super top of the line, but it's pretty darn close. 
So uh, we'll be we'll be using a new computer soon. I'm thinking what I might do, depending on how the swap goes, I might finish recording the series on this computer because we are still at 84% from the last one, if I, if I remember correctly. Seeing as we just got a wheel lock up, I may as well stop and show you 84%. So. I might just do the recordings on this computer before I swap everything over, and then we'll swap everything over. Because I am still concerned about, like, losing saves and that. <laughs> it's, it's like a little nerve-wracking to do the swap. Um, I did some research into, like, saving settings for everything, and saving settings for Streamlabs, and hopefully all that stuff transfers over and like saving all of my scene stuff for uh, which a lot of it is on a hard drive but I mean there is some, still some stuff that's built into CapCut which I use my, for my editing and so like I need to make sure all of that all those ducks are in a row first before I officially swap so it might be a little bit of interim time where I have both running and I'm using this to do... What is this? We got a Chevy here? Is this free? That is like... Interesting. Because it sure looks like a Chevy we could drive, doesn't it? Another one. Uh, oh shoot. This is not where I wanted to go. I was not meant to follow the entire thing. This is where we turn in the fuel trip. Uh, okay, well, that kind of changes things. I was too busy talking. Let's do this. Um, can I get around to this watchtower from here? It sure looks like it. So let's go do that. We'll just leave this up here, I guess. And we'll see if we can get down to the truck from the watchtower then. Yeah, this is this is really muddy back here. I'm very glad I put the balloon tires on, but it still kind of sucks that I don't have lift and better engines for this thing. Yeah, if I would have done this with a I have no idea how much repair it needs. I mean, it could be like nothing, and I could have brought the, the Scout 800 or something up here, but then I wouldn't have been able to tow it back, probably. That's the only thing. Yeah, if we have to tow a dead truck through here, yikes. Um, I feel like that's the safer bet. Because we're sort of on an angle here. Good old Taiga and its ability to to hold on sideways. It's it's holding on. It's a little scary, but. Yeah, the balloon tires definitely help back here. Doesn't let it sink in so far. Uh, as I say that, we sink in and hit a root or something. Yeah, that's like a root or t tree or something. Okay, come on. Let me through this. What am I hung up on here? There's something... Right there, like, in the middle. It's gonna try and turn around it. Yeah, whatever that is.
boy, this path is unpleasant. I, that's why I kind of wanted to go the other way. It didn't look like this was a very good path. A solid tree, sort of. Yeah, we'll see if we can't go down the other way from here to get to the truck. Here's there might be a way down that way. This does work out, though. So we're sort of up where the tower was. It's just a really crappy path. Okay, so let's try and get down this way, like this, and then we'll work our way over to this truck. So like here, to there. How about that? Hopefully it stays relatively firm up here, but I doubt it. any moment I feel like it's just gonna sink in I'm gonna be in the deep mud again like down in this probably I kind of have to go down in that no nope, that's okay this is gonna be muddy maybe looks kind of muddy yeah it's a little bit muddy Chunks of roots and rocks and everything everywhere. Should be coming up on it though. I think we're almost there. Yep, I see it. Hopefully this thing starts. I guess we have to repair it anyhow, so. Question is, does it have any fuel? Ooh, that's not good. Some, some big old rocks to get over here. And it's a fleet star with highway tires, which is great, as always. Oh, shoot. I needed to turn that in, but... So, yeah, we gotta come back through here. Um, that's okay. That oh, does need fuel, too. Okay, good. Good thing we didn't need a lot of repair points, though, so we could have done it, I guess, but... Repair. Fuel. I'll just give it my fuel. And then we'll fill, my, fill ourselves back up at the fuel trailer when we get back there. Okay, so where do we have to go with this? We need to take this this way. Like this. And like that. And then when the blue trail stops, when we get to the road, we're going to park the Fleet Star, go turn in that other thing, and then start the other quest. Good old Fleet Star sound. You know that sound if you played long enough. Come on, get up this hill.
just too many rocks. Don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me by letting a rear-wheel drive tie-away tire fleet star push me. Come on. <laughs> that would have been really funny. Just gotta get over this rock or whatever I'm stuck on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Wait, whatever. Come on. Give me a little push, huh? Come on, fleet start. Come on. Nope. It ain't, it ain't gonna do it, is it? I'm just hung up on something. There's something I'm not happy about right here. I'm like dragging a rock or something. Yikes. I think it's just that I'm dragging this truck. I'm making myself huge ruts as well, which is not good. Yikers, this is gonna, this is gonna take a minute. Come on, get out of there. If I can get out of this freaking muck, then I can. We're just going to leapfrog this the whole way, aren't we? Yeah, I definitely don't remember doing this one. This was one that I probably just did, either didn't have time to do or skipped or whatever. I was like, that's too far. <laughs> Come on, get me onto some solid ground, hey? Any minute now. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we're solid. Okay, that's close enough. Be nice if I could I suppose it probably doesn't even have all-wheel drive I'm gonna say if I could like hop in it and put the all-wheel drive on it probably would be a little easier but try and take this dirt a little steeper hill but my road good enough all right now we need to Do one of these, do one of these, go get our fuel trailer, go get fuel, that was actually worked out okay, because we got to top that thing off, and now we will be topped off.
and then we're gonna swap to the other task and there's two points that I would like to get with this truck before we start the trek of taking this this thing back and then we can finish the third point with the W990 that's over at the other point and start the last one so I was kind of looking at uh, what I have left for contracts and stuff and there's there's a couple of trips back to Duncan Bay and then there's actually a trip back from Duncan Bay to here because I got to go get two cement um, which I don't even remember where cement is from so I guess I'll have to look at that unless there's cement here but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need cement from the other region um, so we'll take a look at that when we get there probably not in this one okay good enough we use most of it at least Now, that's done, which means I should have this available to me. Which means I need to go right back to where I was, unfortunately. I should have just brought the... I guess I needed to come back this way anyhow for the fuel trailer, but... Yeah, that's exactly where I just was. And then the second one is over here, so we've got to keep going down this way. It says to use a scout truck, probably because the path is so muddy. But this is what we got. And then so you see the third one is over here somewhere on this little island. There's a there's a route across right here. So I brought the W990 through this and this was really muddy. So it'll be interesting getting it back towing a scout trailer. But it is what it is. Let's get down here. I'm gonna just take a quick break in the recording quick. I'll be back in a second. Okay. I'm back. Let's get down here, see what we can find with these two points, how hopefully they're not too terrible to get to. At least we don't have to winch a truck, we just have to winch ourselves probably. And we'll get back up here, grab the Fleet Star and head back to town. Perfect. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that was close. Oh, that would have been bad. I couldn't use this this uh, free this fleet star for this quest either to help me flip, and I'm way the heck up here with no support. This path is just really crappy. I'm like very focused. <laughs> trying to trying to find a flat-ish path that I'm not gonna get stuck in is sort of a challenge. We need to change our winch point here. There we go.
Come on, let me through here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this is just this is just a bad path no matter which way you take it, I guess. Okay, there's one. scary uh, looks like left left is the way at least I picked my blue dot GPS come on get through here ooh, 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 ooh. stay Day. No, no flipping. No flipping. Oh man, this is a uh, an adventure. Come back up this dirt pile. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, yeah, and then I was going to say, like, trying to get through all of this to get to that would have been sort of a pain. So, I think this kind of worked out. We'll go back up the same way we came. Kind of through here. And then back this way. Let's actually activate that. This here. Like that. And... Like this. And I think what we're going to do with this is we're going to speed this up in one way, shape, or form. So I'll be back in a minute.
All right, we made it. Oh, I should have stole fuel. <sighs> I keep forgetting that. <laughs> All right, so this is where that off-road scout trailer comes. We got our abandoned fuel tank. Oh, we can get fuel right here. We're really close to town, though, too. Okay, so let's just leave this here for the time being. Let's swap to the W990. Oh, <laughs> I was right on the spot that I needed to be on. Okay, so now there is a third one. And I was also on the top, on the spot that I needed to be, apparently. Man, I picked the exact spot. Okay. Oh, W990 and your stupid crane. It's like, I wanna know if this happens to anybody else with specifically your W990 and using any, like, trailer. Like, it's just barely stuck in here. Like, I don't get it. And like, come on, get out of there. Yeah, it's like I'm not actually in crane mode. Because I'm like still moving my camera. Like that is the worst part. Come on, get out of there. Get out. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and I'm still, like, moving my camera. Alright, let's... Try going in crane mode again. Yeah, it's, it's not... It's not, like, it's, like, fo it's not fully in crane mode. I don't understand. Now I'm not turning. Or it just doesn't go that way. That could be too. Yeah, like what is what is possessing this crane? I'm not moving it. It just like flipped all the way around and now it's stuck again. This, this, it, I swear, this can't only be me that this happens to. Good thing that's all we have to do, holy cow. Alright. What's the way back through here? We need to go to here. I wonder if we could sneak through this way. That other way was pretty bad. Let's try it. We can always try it. Oh, and we kind of got to leave that trailer there, don't we? Well, it is what it is. I think we have to come back here with the service trailer anyhow, so we'll be able to get it. I should have grabbed that service trailer when I came down here, but that's okay. Uh, yep, to the police station. Over here. And where does that... Oh, you know what? That trailer comes over here, so let's go here first. 
back. Let's. Uh, where was it? That one. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can tow this thing out of here. Where's my... Checking my time here. Uh-oh. Yeah, I kind of thought this was going to give me a hard time. Because it's got legs. Hmm. Okay, well. Here's... If I can get the damn crane out again. Get out of there. What? What are you doing, Crane? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Okay. In. It, it's, it's just like completely stupid it up. How do I get it unstuck from the ground? Can I... It's like embedded into the freaking ground. I don't understand what's going on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. This stupid freaking crane, man. How is it stuck in the ground again? It's not releasing. I just want to attach the crane to the tongue so it lifts up in the air a little bit. There's no way this is ever going to work with this stupid truck. Alright. Oh my god, dude. Come on. It's almost out. Come on. Seriously, dude. It's like it's like 8 miles into the ground. I need to hold on. We need to we need to see actually where this is. Like, is this on the ground? Or is it in the ground? No, it's it's in the ground. Like, how did it get there? How did it get there? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm going to lose it. Um, okay, well, we're going to drive out of here a little bit. See if I can even drive out of here. Might have to come and get this with the actual scout truck.
Okay. I'm probably out of range. Yep. I can't winch now. Alright, I think... Jesus Christ, man. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. Oh my god, it worked. For crying out loud. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. I just want to lift it off the ground a little bit. Maybe try and rest the tire on the bed. So it doesn't just drag behind everywhere and then we have to, we'll have to pick it up a few times. But I can just leave the crane out here like this. Can I have it rest right on the bed there like that? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see if that works better for getting this thing out of here. I'm not moving this crane ever. This is just this crane's new permanent spot. Never packing the crane. Come on. Come on, you can make it. Keep going. Keep going. It's gonna like get stuck right at the very end, watch. There's gonna be like a root right there. Oh my god. We made it! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's so bad. So bad. Oh my god. We made it. Okay. Well, I don't care that it's stuck underneath there. Oh my god. Okay, let's go turn this stupid thing in. I was like, I need a truck that has a crane on it and a two-slot bed. And I was like, I could have brought the, the Mac all the way from the garage, right? But I would have had to configure it and then leave a trailer there that I might need. And I was like, well, I could go... Like, get a trailer or something, for because I have the... CT681 is in town, but it's got a low saddle on it, so I would have had to, like, grab a whole low saddle trailer. Yeah, good luck getting a low saddle through that. And then winch it. I probably could have lifted this trailer onto 
maybe perched it on this little on the five slot bed I guess but yeah just oh my god <laughs> just awful it's awful I don't even I haven't even looked at the time how far we're in how far are we in it's turning daytime again that's all I know I mean with the cut there's probably still a little bit of time left in the episode wow man Woo. Ugh. Uh, I need to I need to stop here for a second and just take a picture of this nonsense except I want to fix this trailer a little bit because this is the theme of the episode for sure this hellacious combo right here I should have stopped. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wasn't gonna stop in that mud. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's that's perfect. It's not even on the freaking tires. That's the problem. And I'm I'm lifting it up too far, and it's not even rolling on the tires. It's just like dragging on the pegs. No, that way. Yeah, it's st it's still not even on the tires. Wow, man. Whew. It's just, ugh. Yuck. Frickin' nonsense, man. This is, ugh. Yuck. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Turn this stupid trailer in. That right there just leaves like a bitter taste in my mouth for this whole region. This one task. Like, man, this whole region is great except for this one freaking task. That was awful. Again, I could have brought something that was a little bit better for it, but... Yikers. So, lesson. Lesson learned. Don't use this truck if you're going to go do that task. Take something with all-wheel drive. Then you might not have to, like, just winch and winch and winch and winch. Oof. gonna come up with a good name for this episode like the worst task in the game or something I don't know <laughs> Ugh, so awful like it didn't even have to be that difficult either I just I just again I just this was available I didn't feel like bringing another truck over because this was just sitting in town by the gas by the uh, tanker Oh my god. Can you please... I'm like hung up on a little tiny rock. Well, this thing is not meant for that kind of path. This particular highway truck is not meant for that. It made it. It just took way longer than it had to. This thing doesn't have any stuff in it either, does it? I think this is like a completely useless trailer.
Take a look. Nope, it's uh, worthless. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, let's turn this. Let's finish it out strong. Do what we came for it. Okay. Next. This one, this one, that one. Okay, well, in the next one, I think what we're going to end up doing is we have, we got to get the Uncle Fish test task done, I think. Um, so we're probably going to just take the CT681 and its trailer. Uh, actually, we should go pick that fuel trailer up first. Because I was going to... The fuel trailer actually goes to the port, but I was going to kind of leave it where this existing fuel trailer is currently. Like right over here in town. And then we can probably get... Let me think. What else do we need to do? we got to take these two trucks back, so I could actually take one of these trailers each. For these two trucks. Man. Alright. I'm recovering. Not recovering this. Uh, restoring the crane. So yeah. We have to get this curtain side trailer. And the other curtain side trailer. Through. And I don't really want to suffer. And do both of these. But I think we're going to at least do both of these. For a little bit. And we might just drop one off. If it gets too difficult. Or see if there's maybe a path that we can get through here to get to the garage with both of these. Because these both go to that spot down by the factory down here. So, it's literally these are the two trailers. So, I'm just going to hook up to one and winch one. And attach. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> right out loud. <laughs> I saw it too. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Good thing there's a repair truck right here, huh? <laughs> Change truck. Kodiak. Repair. Okay, if you Man, it's just been one thing after another here. Alright. Let's see how far we can make it with this oh, we're I guess that's that's as far as we're making it. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm not turning around. Too late. This path kind of sucks, too. I haven't really found, there's got to be a better way through this stuff. Like, go off to the side there or something. And then there's like a bunch of mud up here that gets really boggy and crappy that I have to winch through always. Can, can we... What is going on with this truck today? I'm like full stuck on the little crest of a hill. 
or a rock or something. It's not that heavy, is it? Did I break my game? Did I, you know, the, the threat of getting a new computer and having to transfer files is just like, nope, not today, I'm broke. My computer's mad at me because I'm replacing it. I have no idea. Yikers. Well, we'll see where we're at here in a second. And go from there. I think what we'll do is we'll grab the taiga and bring the other trailer down. And that'll be the end of the episode. So yeah, this is like muddy spot number one that sucks. And I just don't really know a good way through here. Come on. Crying out loud. I just can't win today. I might just call it here. Just tired of this nonsense. <laughs> this isn't even the right way. This is not the way I wanted to go. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oofta! Oh, I know what the problem is. I see it. I put the tire down. That's why I kept getting hung up on things. Maybe I'll get less stuck. That was, that was an attempt to try and get me unstuck in the mud, and it just stayed down. Let's see if we can skip some of the bad in here. I'm really glad I did not take the other trailer with, because I would have just been mad. Like, I'm already kind of mad, but... <laughs> I would have been more mad. I would have been super mad. I would have needed a cape. Right out loud. I'm just going to end the episode. So this is where we're going to call it. <laughs> I just can't get this thing through here. Uh, I might have to like rescue it with something or whatever. Yeah, I think this is where we're going to end the episode. I have no, it'll probably be a little short because I have to uh, do some cutting and editing and whatnot. Yeah, I'm like not even remotely close to being to the spot that I need to be at. So we're going to, we're going to grab something from the base. I think we have... We have a Mac Defense. We have a Mac Defense over here. We're gonna detach this. And we're gonna just go on a rescue mission. And pick this guy up. Because it, it can't make it by itself. So, but uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>